Well, in Paris, a uh, Vancouver artist named Stan Douglas uh, has an unusual show at the prestigious Jeu de Pomme Gallery. Tackles the weighty topic of the nature of television. And what it consists of are these short video pieces. They're sort of like mini-movies, which he calls monodramas, which illustrate Stan Douglas's idea of how we watch television, especially advertising. Hi, Gary. How you doing? I'm not Gary. With us now from in front of the Jeu de Pomme in Paris is Stan Douglas. How, how are you doing? Oh, very well, thank you. Wonderful to be in Paris. It's great. The weather is great. Few, very few tourists. Tell me about the uh, monodramas. Tell me what prompted them. Uh, it's a continuation of a series of work I've done for uh, broadcast TV in North America. Um, they're broadcast with advertisements uh, that have an effect on, the, on their context. They use that broadcast context um, uh, as their medium. Uh, my medium is a medium of television itself. Mm -hmm. uh, th this series is more uh, sophisticated than the first series in that they more specifically parody uh, TV conventions. The one thing being here that I realized, that I should have realized uh, before, is that uh, it's to a certain degree incomprehensible to a lot of uh, Parisians because French television doesn't play by the same uh, uh, same rules as North American. Time isn't broken up into half-hour segments, and those segments aren't broken up into uh, three uh, breaks for advertisements. So when I showed the work here, I had a lot of explaining to do, to explain to them how the North American system worked. Well, even I guess there are a lot of North Americans who look at that and still say they don't get it. Maybe, you know, can you explain, we'll start with Eye on You, which we just saw, the guy looking out the balcony. Well, you have to consider its context always. You have, it's not like a, a little film or uh, autonomous artwork. You have to think about it being uh, broadcast an, uh, anonymously uh, with advertisements. Uh, Eye on You, uh, say, mimics uh, conventions of uh, made-for-TV movies, that sort of thing. Uh, and unlike advertisements, it's, it, has a, it has a formal closure like advertisements, but unlike them, uh, it doesn't try to sell you anything, per, per, uh, persuade you of anything, uh, but tries to... Uh, uh, say, break the habits uh, that people have formed uh, when watching uh, ad advertisements. You know how to look at uh, the program section, you know how to blank out or to uh, uh, well, hopefully uh, deal with a rapid uh, montage that happens in commercial segments, or you, you uh, turn it all together. Uh, uh, pieces like Eye on You would uh, uh, try to frame and uh, uh, draw one's attention to the, the habits that one had developed in, in viewing uh, North American TV. What, and I'm not Gary? I mean, all those are about the same? They all have discrete uh, subject matters, um, uh, misidenti uh, misidentification in, in some, uh, certain, uh, say, say, values of luxury in others. Uh, but as a general, um, uh, say, project, they're all geared towards that context of TV. I mean, you can look at them for uh, what each presents, but uh, it's more important to consider the effect that those things would have to... Um, to the viewer who would be caught unawares. Well, what do you think that effect is? So people who just watch TV and kind of, they know the rules and they accept them and usually you know what you're going to see and what, what to expect. Yeah, it, it happens to, to me as well. I mean, I, I watch TV and uh, uh, I, I, forget what I'm, I, I forget what I'm doing. Um, and these just call attention to that situation. Often they're uh, people in situations of isolation. And watching TV is very often sort of... Uh, um, solitary practice and it's just like a, a way to think through that when people see because you juxtapose your films against things that people really see I mean, do you have people say wow I never thought of it that way I never saw that or people mostly just confused with what you're trying to do um, I, I think after repetitions they're all repeated like ads like um, in a particular day you see it again and again um, these all deal with sort of um, out-of-the-way moments like uh, uh, those moments of everyday life that uh, are forgotten or discarded. In a way, what I'm trying to do is uh, present advertisements for everyday life. Nice to talk to you. Okay, thanks. Thanks, Stan. Bye. Bye-bye.